Hey guys! So today I look a little different and I just wanted to quickly film this tutorial for you guys just so I had something something going up so that you guys had something on my channel to watch and I just was sitting around thinking what can I film before I go to work and then I thought about it and I figured I should do a no makeup makeup tutorial. These videos are super popular here on YouTube and I have yet to do one and I figured what better day than today because when I go to work I am obviously not supposed to look like I have makeup on at all because we all are supposed to look the same but uh I do not have a flawless face so I don't like going out without anything on unless it's seriously so early in the morning that I just can't make the time to do my makeup but this is probably going to be the world's least makeup that you're ever going to see on a no makeup makeup look if that makes sense. So I'm going to stop blabbing and just let you guys watch the video. Bye guys. Taking my Holy Grail Neutrogena Shine Control Primer, I'm just going to dot this all over my face and rub it in. And this, like I said, is my Holy Grail. This controls my shine all day. But I'm also going to show you another product in this video that literally keeps me in check on my oil all day. So going into our Sonia Kashuk Concealer and Hidden Agenda, I'm just going to cover up this little blemish right here and then my acne scarring. As you can tell, I'm really dealing with redness right now. So the Hidden Agenda Concealer has green toned concealer in it, which really helps to battle the redness on my face. If you guys have other tips for controlling redness, please let me know because I need some ideas. So now we're going to be using this powder foundation that I found from Milani and I am loving this. I'm in the color natural tan and I have never found a better powder foundation. It just looks so flawless on the skin in my opinion and it's really simple to apply. I just always use an upwards motion like this and it really helps to make sure that it's not showing the flaws in my face as bad. I feel like the upward motion really helps with that. I do this this is my next holy grail it's the NYX matte finish uh, setting spray this stuff is amazing I use it after I finish my foundation I literally don't get oil at all throughout the day so it's bomb so I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and I'm just spooling them really quick and then I'm going in with my NYX eyeshadow base I always use the skin toned one and I also use this to kind of set my eyebrows in place as well. We're going to go back into that spoolie eyebrow pencil that I was using before. If this is by Milani. I'll have it listed in the bottom bar because I don't know the name. But I recently broke my eyeshadow palette from Ardell. So I'm working with a pencil now. And it is a lot more difficult for me to use a pencil for some reason. But I got it figured out for the day. As always, I'm going to use my Naked Basics palette because I love it. And we're going into the color Faint right now. And I just take this on my finger and put it really dark towards the lash line and just smoke it out as I go up on my eyelid. So now we're going to go into the color next to faint and use that to kind of make a transition color and I don't know the exact name but I'll have it listed in order in the bottom bar. So we're just going to highlight with an even lighter shade. It really doesn't matter if you're using Foxy or Venus. I think I used a matte color though so it had to have been like Foxy and I'm using that to highlight and then I'm also using it on my inner tear duct to make me look more awake. 
because I'm seriously running on about five hours of sleep while I'm fil filming this video. So I want to look wide awake for the day. I'm going to go in to the blackest shade on that palette and use it to tight line my eyes. And like I said before, the colors that I use will be listed in order of how I use them in the bottom bar. So next it's time for our contour. I love using this e.l.f. palette for this. It's super cheap and easy to use and I found that if I hold on to the end of the brush instead of closer to the bristles, it really helps to make your makeup look like you're barely wearing any makeup but it still provides the contour that I want so that my cheek looks more defined. I use whatever's left over to contour my wide set nose and then I'm going to be using the blush in that palette as well. Now this L'Oreal mascara that I have no idea what the name of is but I'm did that just make sense I don't know if that just made sense but I'm using that because it makes my eyes I my eyelashes look super super dark which I really really want because no makeup makeup looks bomb if you have really amazing lashes so that is what we're going for right here after they dry a little I like to go back in and use my eyelash curler and I know some people don't like to do that but I think it makes your lashes look a lot better and then I throw on some EOS lip balm and that is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed this no makeup makeup look and until next time I guess I will talk to you guys soon